Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we saw how we can create a custom display name for our React Native project. So now you see our app is RN Contacts with a space. So in this one, I want us to add a custom launcher icon to our React Native apps. So now iOS, you see that it's using this generic app icon, which doesn't look as cool as this, but we want to make one that looks cool or cooler. So also on Android, it uses this Android guy. <laughs> So we need to use our own. So to get started, I already have a picture that I want to use as an icon. So on my desktop, if I came over here, let me see if I can bring, show it to you guys. If I come over here, I have this one I'm calling logo. So you see, if I click on it, it looks like this. So this is what I want to use. So you could say that what if we just use it as is? Oh yes, we could and it could work, but it would not be optimal for all devices. So what you're gonna do on Android, it's Android Studio has this feature called Android Assets Studio. So the way that works is it helps you create uh, all the needed dimensions for a given asset for different devices. So we're going to go to Android. Then we have our project open. Then we're going to go to where we have resources. Then you can say you want a new image asset. So when you click new image asset, so by default, it's going to be selecting the launcher icons. So what I want to do is you want to come in and change the path for where you want to read from. So I'm going to just go to my, where is it? I'm just going to go to my desktop. Then mine is called logo. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to say open. So when you say open, then it's going to show us that it's going to look quite like this, but we don't want it to have the background layer. So we're going to come over here and click here. So we're going to come over there and also change this the way we want. So we don't want it to have that gray shade. In fact, we want it to be white, so we can just say white, white, those are four, six, like this. So now we have this, then you can go ahead and uh, say, okay, next. Then it was going to show you that it's going to replace some of these. Now, this is good because it also creates the, the round versions of the icons. Then if we click finish, it's going to be overriding these files here. So I'm going to click finish again. And then it's going to say, okay, git, no, don't ask us, but add them, don't matter. Okay, so let me say, don't ask me again. So when it's done here, you see that it even creates for us the IS launcher for the Play Store. Now here, let's go ahead and rerun our application. So I'm going to rerun back on my phone so that it can rebuild the new changes with the icon. So we see what we have now. Okay, so as it rebuilds, on iOS, we are going to need to specify the the icons for all the types of iOS devices that are there. So we also need a tool that can help us get the the assets that will work fine on all the devices. So what we're going to do is here, I have this resource here. This is a website, appicon.co. So what it allows us to do is specify, is specify an image that it can use to be able to generate for us the, the files that we we'll need to use on the other on iOS devices. So here we can come in and say, okay, let's choose our logo. So we're just gonna go to our desktop and then we need to choose our logo. So ours is called the LOG. So I'm just gonna find it real quick. So if I find this, I can just click in it and then I can say generate. So by default, we, we have the iPad and iPhone selected, which is what we want. And then Android is also selected. So if we click generate, gonna go ahead and generate these ones for us after it downloads for the, it downloads a zip file down here but we're gonna come back to that let's check how Android is behaving I'm gonna bring up my visor so we see what's happening on my phone so if I close this you will notice that uh, our app has this icon here and now it has some custom icon so now that we have this to use our assets in uh, Xcode we're gonna click on this section where we have the, I the app icon icon set then we can go to our Xcode and we're just going to bring it up here. Then you want to click on your project and then you want to go to images.xc assets. So when you click there, you will have app icon selected here. If it's not, please select it. Then you want to drag and drop your files here. So I'm going to minimize this. And also, let me just minimize it a bit. Also make sure we have some space here. So here in our downloaded files, we can go ahead and move the corresponding dimensions inside here. So this requires us to supply a 40 by 40. So we're just going to move this one. This is a 60. So we're just going to move this one to 60. Come on. 
let's just move it this is a 58 so just gonna come get 58 take it there 87 take it there this is a 80 take it there this is 120 take it there then this is 122 one, 122 not 122 122 this is also 120 basically that's what i'm trying to mean here so let's move 122 again 120 again then this is 180 so let's get 180 we have it and if you're good with design you can change these things yourself just i was showing you an alternative resource this is 1024 which we have to so we can also move it so we can move it down here so now that we have this we can go ahead and rebuild our project so i'm going to go to my terminal in the app let me bring up back my app then here we can rerun yarn ios so it can get the new stuff okay so it's done now let's go there and see what we have and yeah we have something that looks like a great icon so thanks to this website here we were able to get all the sizes also on android thanks to android asset studio we were able to get all the dimensions for all the devices and also icons that are adaptive you notice yes you could do the same thing on android using this website so yeah so there are very many resources you could use to generate those icons as long as you know the dimensions you're going to need if you're good with design you can like write those things in photoshop real quickly or any other design tool you use so there are very many possibilities of getting this so i hope this video helped you if it did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you soon